Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and if you're new here, my channel is Decology. I am on a ferry at the moment heading to New York City. I just finished my tour of Statue of Liberty and I'm heading back to New York City. Now, New York City is a melting pot of many cultures and religion. There are every single religion and nationality you can think of they can be found in New York City. Now, I am a foodie and I'm actually very hungry because I've been saving up a lot of money eating grocery stuff, but I'm going to explore the food scenery of New York City. And New York City is of course the culinary capital of the world. Every single food you can imagine, you can find in New York City. So I'm gonna take you to some of the best spot to eat in New York and of course many many of these food uh, locations are packed to the max so you really need to get there pretty early so let's go and eat in the culinary capital of the world New York City stop is breakfast and if you want a good breakfast it's definitely New York City's Chinatown. I'm right here at Moth Street. This is ground zero for Chinatown New York City and Chinatown New York City is one of the oldest Chinese enclave in the Western Hemisphere. It is also the oldest Chinatown in practically the whole of America. A hundred thousand people live here and 65% of the population are of East Asian descent. I feel so much right here at home. And the community is so big that they have little pockets of inner smaller communities like little Fuzhou and little Hong Kong. And it all started in 1858 where a gentleman named Mr. Ken Mr. Ken came to New York from China and he started a tobacco store and this is, this is how it all started. Chinatown New York City has some of the most delicious food in all of New York. Original recipe from the immigrants from Asia. So let's go and have breakfast. So I've got my breakfast here at Mei Lai Wa and there was a line before the shop even opened. This is Chinatown but not a lot of shop open early in the morning and here I am with my breakfast. Yuma! Just look at the meat. The amount of meat. Mm. The layer of the skin is actually very thin in comparing to ours. The meat is like so super chunky. Look at that. Look at that siu mai. Mmm. Mmm. This is you, my. Oh. Spectacular. Okay, now my favorite dim sum is lo mai kai. Sticky rice. It's my favorite. It's like super high calorie. But it's like something I must have. Look at the... Look at the lo mai kai. I have to flip it over because I turn it upside down. Oh, look at that. Um. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. That's a, such a hearty breakfast. Mm. Um. Mm. The police just passed by and seeing what I was doing. The last meal is Supa! Look at the Supa! Mm. Mm. What feeling is this? They gave you the fattiest like fat 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 meat gosh ah oh. oh my god mm. Mm. and i've been surviving on like supermarket stuff for days and this is like my first real meal here this is all like plus tips i think it's 11 dollar mm. oh. i finished my breakfast at mei lai wa and just opposite Mei Lai Wa is Kong Sik Tong. 
<laughs> this is a Hong Kong style cafe and they also open very early in the morning and you can sit right inside and order inside and allegedly they make the best milk tea in Chinatown I am dying for a good Cantonese milk tea or Hong Kong milk tea mm. Ah, this is so good I mean this is legit good I mean they use like really I think they use really good condensed milk this is like really really good so have your breakfast at Mei Lai Wa and then you come over here for the milk tea mm. and that's conclude that conclude my breakfast here at Chinatown So as you know by now, I'm staying at Brooklyn's uh, in a district called Williamsburg and Williamsburg is a district in the borough of Brooklyn and it has a large population of Poles, Jewish, Dominicans and Puerto Ricans and it has been like, it's, it has seen a very big transformation this area and it's now one of the hippest places to stay when people are visiting for New York City and I wish I can do a series of cafes here because there's so many cute cafes here and everybody recommended PPL so it's like a corner cafe in Roebling Street and South First Street and this place I mean it's very enchanting that's the word I would put it very enchanting and this is the place for coffee in the in, for, for my coffee in the morning it's just you're, you're, you're like sipping coffee in a greenhouse and it's a bit um, it's very artsy very hippish I love it so the coffee here is good and uh, yeah and, and drop by because I think this is really the most unique cafes I have ever covered for my video You're basically spoiled for choice when it comes to options for brunch and breakfast here at Williamsburg. There are so many great places for breakfast and brunch. What I recommend is the Butcher's Daughter. They are situated in the corner between Drick Street and Metropolitan Avenue. And this is a very welcoming cafe. The view here are incredible. You can sit here and people watch the whole day. It's at a very busy junction and you get really, really great hearty breakfast here. Look at that. Very hearty continental American breakfast. Great smoothie as well. This is the place that I recommend. The Butcher's, the butcher's Daughter. So I'm outside of Okonomi here in Williamsburg and I heard from the locals this place served the best Japanese sushi and ramen in town and I heard, I saw and read the Google reviews are off the charts for this small little shop so let's check it out This is really, really good ramen. Um, the fish and the broth and the soup, the broth, it's incredible. And I like the shop. 
<laughs> it's it's very compact, yeah. <laughs> just like in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> how um how long you guys been open since? Uh, almost ten years. Ten years. Yeah. So they've opened in ten years. This is the best ramen in all of New York City. Okay. What kind of fool did you take me for? I've seen it before. Call me what you want. I'm done. Your bag's in front. And you always thought you had it all. Believe me when I say it couldn't be more. I am at the most beautiful cafe in New York City. This cafe is called Cottage must be destroyed was recommended to be by my housemaid on Fire Island, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, you did an incredible job. I mean, outside, the building outside looks pretty insignificant. It looks like an abandoned building in the middle of nowhere here in Brooklyn. But you, when you walk inside, you are just being amazed by every single table rec decoration, tabletop decoration. Incredible, the whole place is pink, pastel. Each table has a different decoration according to color scheme. There are the swan table, there's the beach table. The whole place just, I mean, detailedly decorated. Pieces of art and deco that I have never seen. If this was in KL, it would have been packed. But I wanted to be the first one to be in here to film everything for you guys. And the breakfast is incredible. I mean, just look at my breakfast with sweet potato, uh, sunny side eggs, which is my favorite, and toast with butter. It's, 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 this is incredible. You have to come here to believe it. Now don't come knocking at my door And don't my phone So here I am at Dumbo. Dumbo means down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass. And you are in New York. This is the birthplace of pizza. I don't think you can have bad pizza in New York, but this is the place. Oh my God. I mean, the line is insane. And we had to line up like pretty long pretty a long time but they gave us the last seat the last absolute seat here at Juliana so Juliana is run by a couple the Grimaldi couple and they made legendary pizza they were voted the best pizza place in America three year in a row 2015 to 2018 number one in America three years in a row that's an accomplishment right so I I'm not really a fan of pizza, but you're in New York, so you have to. So this is Brooklyn Juliana's. So we ordered the, look how massive this is. So we ordered the margarita, the simple, it's, I really like this place. It's very non-pretentious and it's like, it's like a regular mom and dad pizza place, but first taste of the Juliana's pizza that, uh, that everybody talked about. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Holy crap. Holy crap. I mean, this is the holy grail of pizza. It's so so good. I think I think they didn't really make it too fancy. And the way the server said, you can only have maximum two toppings on each of the pizza, which I've never heard that in my life, but that was it. And um, yeah, Juliana's Pizza, this is the place to be. I mean, oh, incredible. Worth the wait, worth the anxiety. And now I can like relax because, yeah, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna stop filming and I'm gonna finish it with my friends.
try that, guys. Okay. That stuff was tough. Right. I'll be right back. Got it. What is that? Moving on the way. That's pastrami. My first time pastrami. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Thank you, Michael, for bringing me here. You're welcome, CK. And Michael, you've been in, you, you, you are from Washington State. I am. And then you moved to New York in 1994. That is correct. And you're a true New Yorker. Now I am. I mean, <laughs> some people wouldn't say that because I wasn't born here, but I think of myself as a true New Yorker. Well, I'm glad you are so <laughs> that I can visit you. And Michael has brought me to the most iconic Jewish delicate, deli, deli, delicatessen. Delicatessen. Just say deli. Everybody says deli. <laughs> Michael has brought me to the most famous Jewish deli place here in New York. We are at Lower East Manhattan. Lower East Side of Manhattan. Lower East Side of Manhattan. And uh -huh. the street is called Houston Street. Houston Street. It right? is. Not yes. Houston. Houston. Not Houston. Because if you stay Houston, then you're not a New Yorker. New Yorkers say Houston Street. This is true. So this is Katz and it's more than a hundred years old. And uh, it, it, it really is an iconic place. And well and behold, I found out that New York actually has the biggest Jewish population outside of Israel. Yes, this is true. Like 13% of all New Yorkers are Jewish, and the most famous Jewish New Yorker, Alan Greenspan. Okay. The, yeah, the former chair, the <laughs> former chairman of the uh, reserve. Uh, He's Jewish. Yes. He's born in New York. And Barbara Streisand. Yes, Barbara yeah, Streisand. Jewish New Yorker. Actually, Barbara Streisand went to high school near where I live. What? Yes. She went to Erasmus Hall High School, right where I, where I live. Wow. <laughs> and this is Katz, and what you do is they give you a ticket, and then with the ticket they will, they will write stuff that you ordered, and then uh, at the end you will pay for the ticket. So they have multiple lines yes. to serve the people, so it's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. So, what are we eating, Michael? So, we are having a Reuben sandwich, <gasps> a classic. York deli sandwich, um, but ours is made with pastrami. Traditional ones are made with corned beef, but pastrami is even nicer. So and it's only a dollar extra. <laughs> so what what is a pastrami? If you can explain too. Well, Mike. so we asked our server, who was very nice and happy to see you. Um, they are both beef, but whereas corned beef is pickled, pastrami is smoked. Smoke, smoke beef. Yes. Well, I mean, it looks like like two thousand calorie right there. And you, also, <laughs> and you also get two different kinds of pickles. Oh, okay. They have they give you pickles and yeah. stuff. So many famous people have been here. Um, I don't know. Chris Hemsworth have been here. Really have a, I know. Like everybody. Oh, Isaac Mbrahi. I don't know him. He's a oh, your gay your gay fans will know him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many famous people have been here. <laughs> so like this. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. oh. oh! Oh! And he was so right, he told us to get the pastrami. No, the meat is very I mean, soft! Get the pastrami. Yeah. No, the meat is very soft, and it's like... Oh. And the aroma, my god. And now we're gonna need lots of napkins. Mmm! <laughs> mm. Look at that! <laughs> so, if you're in New York City, Katz is the place, iconic, more than a hundred years old. Thank you, Michael, for bringing me here. Enjoy. Those are the incredible food of New York City. I am standing right outside the Lincoln Performance Centers where all the incredible ballet performance and opera performance takes place here in New York City. If there's one major advice that I would give people visiting New York City is never, never eat fast food chain here in New York City. This is the culinary center of the world. 
everything from street food to fine dining. You can find it here in New York City as you can see in this video. I want to shout out to all my local friends who have given me plenty of advice where to eat in New York City and I hope to see you in my next video. If you want more video of New York City, you can find them right here. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye from Lincoln Center.